This presentation is brought to you by Terry Fraser's RV Center in Eldridge, Iowa. Terry Fraser's RV Center, where there's no extra freight charge, no extra prep fee, no battery fee, no hidden finance fee, finance here or not, same low price. At Terry Fraser's, you get a lifetime of experience. This is a 2020 Bushwhacker Teardrop Travel Trailer, model number 17X by Braxton Creek RV. And this presentation is brought to you by Terry Fraser's RV Center in Eldridge, Iowa. Now, these cool teardrop trailers have tons of great features you're gonna really love. Let's start up here on the front with the two inch ball hitch coupler, crank down jack, 20 pound LP tank on there. You do have the diamond plated rock chip guard across the front with an aerodynamic front you'd expect from a teardrop designed retro styled unit. Now, the battery in the box is included with the sale of the unit, not some fancy option or overpriced extra. Nope, you're gonna need it, you're gonna want it, you're gonna get it. All right, there's not really an offside on these units because you have equal access door on either side. At any rate, continuing along to this side here, solar on the side here for your connection for your optional addition of a solar charge kit, should you wish, very easy to add, because, well, you're prepped and ready to go with that. Now, we do have the step on both sides, step on either side here, that's been added, that's new on these units, way cool. Don't step on your wheel well, because you've got the step built in right there. Okay, you do have scare light, porch light on either side. 235, 75 by 15 inch tires on there. And that's the custom aluminum rims that go with that. Plenty of ground clearance down through here. Plenty of clearance down there. And away you go. All right, 24 gallon fresh water tank. There's the filler for it there. 30 amp electrical service right through there. Crank down BAL jacks one to each side on the rear side here on the rear end and those are with sand pads included right on there okay here's the aerodynamic shaped swept back so common for a teardrop trailer hey we're going to discover what's under there in just a minute entire led lighting across and around the unit inside and out coming down underneath here we've got the spare tire it's just two clicks smaller than the regular tires not knobby but it is sufficient to get you where you're going it's not a donut and it's easily raised and lowered by that lug right through there. Easy access to get to that. How convenient is that? Okay, up over the top. I bet you're wondering about that roof rack. You have a 220 pound capacity, load capacity on the roof rack over the top, omnidirectional TV and radio antenna, and the crank up vent, which is right up above that. We're gonna discover that on the inside here because there's some really cool features on that as well. There's your step up right there for the easy access to the interior right there. All right, stepping on to the interior with another reminder, this presentation is brought to you by Terry Fraser's RV Center in Aldridge, Iowa. Now, while we're opening the door up, important safety feature right there. You do have a screen and an opening window on the door itself. So you can deadbolt shut that door right there and still be able to open up those windows and catch a breeze. Keep yourself safe, but still be able to maintain a nice breeze through the unit. Well, how would you get the breeze through the unit? Check out the fan on the ceiling here. This is a whole coach style fan here. It's reversible, three speed and reversible. Way cool, how neat is that? And away you go. Now, consider this. You've got air conditioning comfort, should you wish, I and mean, you're plugged into the AC power. If you're not plugged into the AC power, there it is right there, 12 volts for your rooftop vent. Away you go. You don't have to rely on the air conditioner to still get a nice breeze through the unit, through here. Now, you do have a furnace. There's the furnace right over in that corner there. And that would be to the tune of 20,000, or excuse me, 12,000 BTUs on the furnace. Plenty enough for a unit of this size. And that will be 12 volt operated, fired up by the LP gas. How cool is that? Good for boondocking. All right, here's your radio back over here. You have a GFCI protected electrical outlet, another one over to the opposite side as well. Plenty of storage through here. Now up and above and overhead. Let's open this up. Here you are prepped for the easy addition of an a, a optional television set, 12 volt as well as 120 volt and your there's your lug right there with the antenna booster showing it's turned on there with the coax. Very easy to add a television to go right on the door right like that. Okay, mushroom style LED lights throughout the unit. There's your thermostat for the use of the furnace. Again, that's the safety door there, dead bolted on both sides. All right, let's talk about some storage options. Let's take the mattress here, flip it up and out of the way. And you can see down below 
underneath here. You can flip this side up, some storage underneath there. And on the main portion back here, flip that up, voila. More storage under there. Maybe not a ton, but certainly enough to get some of your gear in there to get you from here to there, some of your essentials. How cool is that? Additional storage, obviously, back behind here as we move the mattress back into place. Now, to put the two mattresses in place, it is slightly smaller than a queen bed, almost a queen bed though, just a couple inches shy of that, certainly bigger than a full-sized mattress. So that would make each one of these slightly smaller than a twin mattress. Well, you do the math on that. You can easily sleep two people. Maybe if you have a kid that doesn't mind squishing in with you, three would be fine too. Okay. Let's take a look at it from around the other side on the other door over here. Again, the deep cycle, heavy duty battery and the battery box included in the sale of the unit as well. There we go. We'll take a quick peek at it through here. There's your porch switch. We're forgetting something. That's right. Save the best for last. Let's take a look in the back here. This is a strut assisted. There we go, lifts it right up like that. Provides handy shield from a little drizzling rain or what will come down if you're preparing your meal back here. Speakers are now external speakers as well as the internal speakers on there. Two lights down below is your wash down port where it's easy to add the wash down hose. Okay, Flame King two burner range top that's LP fired. Don't forget that LP tank up front there. Okay, Peltier unit cooler by Coleman. We'll open that up in there. So that's AC or DC powered. It has an adapter for AC use. In the meanwhile, it is hooked into the 12 volt system right through here. You can remove it, pull it out, plug it into your car, do with it as you wish. And then at the end of the day, put it right in here for convenience, it's right there and ready to go. All right, as I said, gas charge struts to hold the top up and a little bit of storage down below here. A good place to put the cord set when you're not using it there. And there's your wash down for the sink. Plugs right in over to there and away you go. GFCI protected electrical outlet. That fairly well rounds it out there. Okay. Again, that's a 5,000 BTU air conditioner on the inside for when you have AC power or you use the whole coach fan when you want to run on DC power. Perfect for boondocking, dry camping, or what you will. Okay, I do believe we've successfully covered just about everything we can on this 2020 Bushwhacker model number 17X. That's by Braxton Creek RV. With a final reminder that this presentation has been brought to you by Terry Fraser's RV Center in Eldridge, Iowa. Thank you.